Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Monday, March 25, 2024. The year is 1975. Our main topic, King Faisal of Saudi Arabia was shot and killed by his nephew Faisal bin Musaid. On March 25, 1975, King Faisal of Saudi Arabia was assassinated by his nephew, Faisal bin Musaid. This event marked a significant turning point in the history of Saudi Arabia, as King Faisal had been a prominent figure in the country's development and modernization. King Faisal had ascended to the throne in 1964, following the death of his half-brother, King Saud. Prior to his ascension, he had served as crown prince and had also held the position of prime minister. During his reign, King Faisal implemented numerous reforms, aimed at modernizing Saudi Arabia and transforming it into a modern, industrialized nation. He invested heavily in infrastructure, education, and healthcare, and also worked to diversify the country's economy, reducing its dependence on oil exports. The assassination of King Faisal was a shock to the nation and the wider world. It was seen as a tragic event that ended the life of a visionary leader who had worked tirelessly to improve the lives of his people. The event also raised concerns about the stability of the Saudi monarchy and the potential for political instability in the region. The assassination was carried out by Faisal bin Musaid, who was a nephew of King Faisal and the son of his half-brother, Prince Musaid. Bin Musaid had been estranged from the royal family for several years and had reportedly been living in exile in Egypt. He returned to Saudi Arabia shortly before the assassination, allegedly motivated by a personal grievance against King Faisal. The assassination of King Faisal was widely condemned by leaders from around the world. His funeral was attended by numerous heads of state and dignitaries, including U.S. President Gerald Ford, who had been a close ally of King Faisal. In the aftermath of the assassination, King Faisal's successor, King Khalid, worked to maintain stability in the kingdom and continue the modernization efforts that had been initiated by his predecessor. The event served as a reminder of the importance of strong leadership and stability in the region, and it highlighted the challenges faced by Saudi Arabia as it continued to navigate the complex geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. Overall, the assassination of King Faisal of Saudi Arabia was a significant event that marked a turning point in the country's history. It was a tragic reminder of the risks and challenges faced by leaders in the region, and it underscored the importance of stability and strong leadership in maintaining the delicate balance of power in the Middle East. The year is 1996. On the news, the European Union's Veterinarian Committee bans the export of British beef and its byproducts as a result of mad cow disease, bovine spongiform encephalopathy. In light of the recent outbreak of mad cow disease, also known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy, the European Union's Veterinarian Committee has made the decision to ban the export of British beef and its byproducts. This decision comes as a precautionary measure to prevent the spread of the disease, which has been linked to variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, VCJD, in humans. Context, mad cow disease is a fatal neurodegenerative disorder that affects cattle, causing abnormal behavior, difficulty walking, and weight loss. The disease is incurable and has a long incubation period, making it difficult to detect and contain. The World Health Organization has reported a total of 231 cases of VCJD globally, and the EU has taken this step to ensure the safety of its citizens. Historical significance, this ban on British beef exports is a significant move by the EU, as it highlights the organization's commitment to protecting public health and maintaining high food safety standards. The ban also underscores the importance of cooperation and collaboration among member states in addressing regional health crises. As a news anchor, it is important to note that this decision may have economic implications for the United Kingdom, as beef is a significant export for the country. 
However, the EU's priority is to ensure the safety of its citizens, and this decision reflects that commitment. In conclusion, the EU's decision to ban the export of British beef and its byproducts is a necessary measure to prevent the spread of mad cow disease and protect public health. The organization's commitment to food safety and cooperation among member states is commendable, and we will continue to monitor the situation as it develops. Our selected holiday for today, Christian Saints Days Corinus of Tagernse. Corinus of Tagernse, also known as Corinus of Rome, is a Christian martyr and saint who is venerated on various dates throughout the year, depending on the denomination. His feast day is celebrated on April 25th in the Roman Catholic Church, while the Eastern Orthodox Church commemorates him on December 2nd. Corinus is believed to have lived in the 3rd century and was a Roman soldier who refused to sacrifice to the Roman gods, instead professing his faith in Christ. He was subsequently imprisoned, tortured, and executed for his beliefs. The cultural significance of Corinus' holiday lies in his bravery and commitment to his faith, which inspired many early Christians to stand firm in their beliefs despite persecution. His martyrdom serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by early Christians and the importance of standing up for one's beliefs, even in the face of adversity. Corinus' holiday is also significant because it highlights the diversity of Christian traditions and practices. While the Roman Catholic Church and Eastern Orthodox Church celebrate Corinus' feast day on different dates, both denominations recognize his martyrdom and venerate him as a saint. This shared reverence for Corinus serves as a symbol of unity and shared faith among Christians, despite their differences in practice and interpretation. In conclusion, Corinus of Tagernse's holiday is a celebration of his courage and commitment to his faith, and serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by early Christians. It also highlights the diversity of Christian traditions and practices, and serves as a symbol of unity among Christians. On this day, in 1767, Joachim Murat, French General, d. 1815, was born. Joachim Murat was a prominent French military commander and statesman during the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. Throughout his illustrious career, he demonstrated exceptional leadership skills and strategic brilliance, earning him the titles of Marshal of the Empire and Admiral of France. Born in 1767, Murat began his military career in the French army, quickly rising through the ranks due to his bravery and tactical prowess. He was a key figure in many significant battles, including the Battle of Austerlitz, where he led a crucial cavalry charge that helped secure a decisive victory for Napoleon's forces. In 1806, Murat was appointed Grand Duke of Berg, a position he held until 1808. That year, he was crowned King of Naples as Joachim Napoleon, a title he would hold until his death in 1815. During his reign, he implemented numerous reforms and modernized the kingdom's infrastructure, earning him the respect and admiration of his subjects. Murat's military achievements are equally impressive. He led successful campaigns in Italy, Austria, and Spain, and was instrumental in Napoleon's victory at the Battle of Borodino. His leadership and strategic thinking were instrumental in many of Napoleon's military successes. Despite his many accomplishments, Murat's life was not without controversy. He was known for his flamboyant and extravagant lifestyle, often criticized for his lavish spending and perceived arrogance. However, his dedication to his country and his military prowess cannot be denied. In conclusion, Joachim Murat was a remarkable figure in French history. His military achievements, leadership skills, and diplomatic prowess make him a fascinating and influential historical figure. While his personal life may have been subject to criticism, his contributions to France and the Napoleonic Wars cannot be overstated. His legacy continues to be remembered and celebrated to this day. We remember the life of Jean Reno de Segres, French poet and novelist, born 1624, who died on the state in 1701. Jean Reno de Segres was a celebrated French poet and novelist, born in Caen in 1624. He was a prominent figure in the literary world of his time, and his works continue to be studied and admired today. Segres's literary career began early, and he was elected a member of the Académie Française in 1662. His poetry and novels were known for their elegance and wit, and he was particularly praised for his ability to craft engaging stories that captured the essence of the human experience. 
One of Segres's most notable works is his collection of poetry, Les Cartes des Plus Famouses Bouté de la Cour, The Characters of the Most Famous Beauties of the Court. This work showcases his skill in crafting vivid portraits of the women of the French court, and it remains a testament to his ability to capture the beauty and complexity of the human form. In addition to his literary pursuits, Segres was also known for his military service. He fought in the Thirty Years' War and was appointed as a gentleman of the king's chamber. This experience undoubtedly influenced his writing, as he often incorporated themes of war and heroism into his works. Segres's legacy extends beyond his literary achievements. He was a prominent figure in the cultural and intellectual circles of his time, and his influence can be seen in the works of many later writers and poets. His contributions to the French language and literature are still celebrated today, and his works continue to be studied and enjoyed by scholars and readers alike. Despite his many accomplishments, Segres's life was not without its challenges. He faced criticism and controversy throughout his career, particularly for his satirical works, which were seen as too critical of the French monarchy. However, he remained committed to his craft and continued to produce works that were both beautiful and thought-provoking. In conclusion, Jean Regnaud de Segres was a talented and influential French poet and novelist whose works continue to be celebrated today. His contributions to literature, his military service, and his commitment to his craft make him a fascinating figure in French history. His legacy continues to inspire and delight readers, and his works remain an important part of the literary heritage of France. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.